take a look at this blueprint of Washington DC and Maryland suburbs metro system. This rapid transportation network serves as a vital lifeline for the region, accommodating approximately 200,000 to 500,000 commuters daily, making it the second busiest transit system in the United States, surpassed only by the New York City subway. Now you may think this transit system is exemplary, given its six high-speed metro lines, connections to Mark and Amtrak, and over 250 bus routes serving the city and its suburbs. While all of this is true, Maryland has long sought an efficient light rail line to meet the ever-increasing demand for convenient and rapid transportation. The Purple Line project promises to bring that vision alive, but there is a catch. The project has a complex and difficult history that contributed to numerous push deadlines, insecurity about the project and constantly increasing budget. So when can we expect a fully operational railway line? Can money make things worse again and lead to further delays? Welcome to Legendary Builds, now let's find out! The Purple Line is a dedicated 6.2 mile light rail line that will fully operate independently of other transportation systems. It aims to provide reliable and rapid east-west travel in Maryland, linking the state suburbs from Bethesda in Montgomery County to New Carrollton in Prince George's County. The line features 21 exclusive stations and offers a convenient connection to the Washington Metro Rail. Purple Line will offer direct connections with the Red Metro Line in Bethesda and Silver Spring, the Yellow Line in College Park and the Orange Line in New Carrollton, making traveling in Maryland and Washington much easier and faster. Additionally, this rail system will be interlinked with Mark and Amtrak rail services as well as local bus services. Most of the tracks will run at road level with regular traffic, but some sections will be elevated or run underground to ensure that trains do not experience unexpected delays on their routes. The project is expected to save 1 million gallons of gas between 20 years, take off 17,000 cars daily and serve commuters for decades to come. Now let's explore the smart design of the Purple Line. The trains will be powered by overhead wires known as a catenary system. Engineers from Purple Line Transit Partners who are carrying out the project designed five modular trains that will be 140 feet long. Each train will feature convenient boarding with low floors, onboarding storage for bikes and ADA compliance. They have also ensured the highest standards of comfort as well. Thanks to noise dampening skirts, the trains will not exceed 75 decibels on the straightaways. Each station will be equipped with bike racks. All stations and platforms are dedicated exclusively to the Purple Line. The railway will utilize three types of tracks, embedded, ballast track and direct fixation, all playing crucial roles to ensure a smooth journey along the entire line. So when can you make your first trip on this train? Well, an official opening date is set for May 2027, but we are not certain about it due to significant delays the project has faced in the past. There are even rumors that the project may be delayed further, potentially opening in winter 2027. So let's take a closer look at this. I must admit it was fortunate for the Purple Line to begin its construction back in 2017 and then continue in 2021. The idea of building the Purple Line dates back to the 1990s with the official proposal submitted in 2008. The project was never intended to be overly complex or difficult to proceed with, so what has caused the delays for all these years? The years between 2008 and 2017 were mainly marked by political disputes. Many residents resisted the project, fearing it would remove their homes and businesses. Additionally, the Purple Line had several environmental and engineering gaps that made it difficult to officially approve the project. Non-profit organizations nearly stopped the project by conducting a petition that gathered enough signatures to bring the case to court. Even when the Purple Line finally made it through in December 2017, legal problems were still pending. Now listen, the initial cost of the project was $5.6 billion. This included designing, building, operating and maintaining the Purple Line for the next 30 years by the contract winner Fluor Enterprises. Guess what? In 2020, Fluor Enterprises withdrew due to delays and disputes with the state government. By then, they had consumed over 50% of the estimated costs. In November 2021, a new contractor was finally selected with the contract signed in August 2022. This caused an additional 4 billion increase in the budget and the costs are still rising. As you can see, it has never been easy for the Purple Line to proceed, progress or even begin to exist. 
Ok, but now let's look on the brighter side. Since work resumed, they have made significant progress. So what is happening at the moment? How is the progress? The Purple Line director, Ray Biggs, reported in his statement on YouTube that over 60% of planned work is now done. This was 7 months ago. At that time he mentioned that the new Riverdale North UMD station would be the first to be completed. With more than half of the stations under construction and over 1000 workers on site, we can be sure the project is in full swing. Ray Biggs also informed us that the team has made significant progress on the new storm management system, including the installation of 2000 square feet of underground sand filters, retention ponds and planter boxes to ensure all environmental preparations are done correctly. In the latest update video in May, Ray Big said that in 2024 the team made remarkable progress by laying thousands of new tracks. In Bethesda, crews have placed the custom-made sprung arch to cast the first section of the cavern ceiling, which will connect the 130 foot deep shaft to the Metro Bethesda station. The first tests of the new railway are expected at the same time next year. As you can see, the project is finally on track, with most of the stations now visible, with canopies and significant progress on the bridges and the tunnel extension between Wayne Avenue and Manchester PlayStation. Although the initial completion date was set for early 2022, delays caused by land acquisition and design changes have pushed the deadline to May 2027, However, we can be quite sure it will take even longer and consume more money as the testing of the new railway will take longer than expected. Ok everyone, it was a pleasure presenting you with the Purple Line project. If you want more detailed information on the Purple Line, you can find the official YouTube channel of the project in the description. You've been watching Legendary Builds and until the next one.